Welcome to World of Warplanes. To control your plane, use the mouse cursor to point where you want to go. The plane will automatically change direction to realign with your cursor. You can press W to use Boost, an ability that temporarily increases your speed, but will gradually overheat your engine. Boosting is helpful for catching up to or outrunning enemies. You can also reduce the throttle by using the S key. Reducing throttle is helpful for making sure you don't overshoot an enemy in your sights, increasing firing time on enemies, and making hairpin turns. To fire your forward-facing guns, click and hold the left mouse button. Guns will overheat, and once they do, both the rate of fire and your accuracy will dramatically decrease. Remember to lead your targets. If you aim directly at the enemy plane, it will have moved by the time your rounds travel the distance to the target. If your aircraft is equipped with a rear gunner, you can take manual control of it by pressing the T key. Manually controlling the rear gunner doubles both damage output and your chances of inflicting a critical hit. If an enemy plane is shooting at you, you can either do evasive maneuvers if you are piloting an agile warbird, or you can try to boost away if you are piloting a high-speed warbird. Depending on the type of plane, it may also come equipped with bombs or rockets. Bombs can be deployed by pressing B, and rockets are launched by pressing R. If you are flying a bomber, press left shift to enter the bomb site mode. There are two ways to win World of Warplanes. First, by filling your influence points bar, displayed on the top of the screen in blue. To gain influence points, you must capture the zones displayed on your map. Use the tab key to open your map. Capturing points requires destroying the neutral or enemy targets at that zone, both the buildings on the ground and the planes in the air. Targets tied to zones will have white icons, as opposed to blue for friendlies or red for enemy team members. As you destroy targets, you will see the circle around the icon fill with blue. When the circle is 100% closed, the icon will turn blue and the neutral defenders will be destroyed and replaced by defenders fighting for your team. This means you have captured the zone. There are different types of zones, each offering unique advantages once captured. Garrisons, displayed as a star icon, give additional influence points per second. The purpose of other zones can be seen by pressing the left alt key while in battle or in the pre-battle loading screens on our online guides. The second way to win is to destroy all enemy planes after the squall line has formed. The squall line forms seven minutes after the battle starts and prevents players from respawning. This is a great way for a team to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. Those are the basics, but more information can be found on our website and forums. Good luck out there, pilot!